I like to think of the lab a bit like a boat motoring along and leaving a wake where the wake is a lot wider than the boat. And that's my goal, do the kind of science that then other people are going to follow. My name is Jeff Hubble. I'm a professor here at the University of Chicago in the Pritzker School for Molecular Engineering. I fell into some lucky graduate students who dragged me into the field of immunology. We really focused our attention to using chemical approaches and design for immunological interventions. Thinking about vaccines, thinking about inverse vaccines, how to undo immunity, thinking about immuno-oncology, and really developed a passion for immunotherapeutics there. Here at the University of Chicago, the Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering was being developed. My colleague and wife, Melody Swartz, we thought that would be a fantastic experience to help build something new again. Immunotherapeutics were developing at a really good pace, but they were focused really on biological approaches only. So we thought by bringing in some chemistry, we could impact this field by combining nanomaterial science immunology and chemistry, we were able to develop these approaches. Autoimmunity is treated now by broad immune suppression, and that comes with a downside. You have an immune system for a reason, after all. So what we've said is, like, let's try to do that in an antigen-specific way, just like you'd vaccinate. But in this case, we're developing molecules, nanomaterials that are suitable for multiple sclerosis, for other diseases like celiac disease, DREAM is type 1 diabetes, these sorts of diseases. The thing that makes the Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering not only unique, but powerful, is the thematic structure that we have, which builds in cooperation among very different disciplines. Professor Hubble plays a key role within this team, not just leadership, but also ability to bring people together. I'm amazed at the creative capability of the people in my laboratory and just how much indeed it does come to really support the premise that invention is a team sport. Jeff's attitude of creativity is very different from other professors. He doesn't have an expert blind spot. His willingness to come up with an absurd idea is makes him really approachable and working with him is an honor. This is a really highly prestigious prize, really the top prize in the field of nanotechnology. And to receive recognition for that was really just fantastic. I take the Cabiller Prize as a personal honor, and I take it as a team honor too. He is truly a founder of this field. He's done some amazing work that is actually changing patients' lives now. Jeff has made changes in the way bioengineering has been done over the last 30 years. He's collaborative, he's innovative. In fact, I will call him a rare gem, and I am pleased that he's been honored with this award. <laughs>